let's take a look at Cheryl Day's Treasury of Southern Baking. I'm excited. Somebody did suggest this over on our YouTube channel, so I'm pumped to see what's going on in here. This was published in 2021. I think I recall actually this cover. So here we have hot breads and crackers, coffee cakes, cake, uh, loaf cakes and bun cakes, muffins and scones, uh, slow breads, breads that need time to rest, gathering cakes. There's layer cakes, cupcakes, pies, cookies, brownies and bars, grits and grains, custards and puddings and cobblers, jams and preserves. Holy cow, this is like a huge dessert compendium. I bet you this is amazing. Okay, so we get a little bit about our beautiful author here in the introduction. Uh, let's go further. Oh my goodness. Oh, this already looks so good. So we have our basics in the front, things that you might need, additional equipment, etc. So let's look at some of these photos. So here is kind of a brief look. You can see we're hit and miss with the photos. There's some but not a bunch. So we have like traditional things like a skillet, cornbread, hush puppies. We probably don't need photos for those, so it's understandable, but we do have a photo for our cornbread. Different kinds of cornbread. Uh, so let's go a little further here. Here are different, ooh, I like what she's done here. So we have a four square different recipes. So here is our uh, recipe for crispy cheese crackers. You see here in bold, I know it's kind of hard to tell, but in bold, it's all of the ingredients, kind of where this recipe comes from. And then here we go into our instructions and they are quite easy. We can fit probably two different recipes on each page, which is pretty impressive. That, I, that to me screams pretty easy, which is very nice with baking. Um, oh my God, look at these, this looks so good. Holy cow, this actually looks like peaches or something, but it's not. Just beautiful, beautiful photography. Um, everything looks so delightful, so approachable, and so, so good. Here's our muffins and scones. One thing I do like with cookbooks, because I get all over the place sometimes, is in the very intro, it has each recipe you'll find, plus the page numbers in addition to uh, in the front. I like that because I go crazy sometimes so and it also gives you an idea you know if you're like I kind of want muffins today but you're not sure what kind you can go here and kind of see which ones and then be able to decide here is a photo of an example of one of those that looks like a peach or apple here's a strawberries and cream muffin that looks so good uh, here we go cinnamon swirl buns who doesn't I love cinnamon rolls they're kind of my favorite thing oh whoa beautiful let me see what this is um this is a wildflower honey caramel bun wow so for those of us like for me i'm gluten-free so these are not gluten-free friendly recipes you're gonna have to figure it out yourself figure out a one-to-one -one ratio or if you make your own flour uh, that's something you have to keep in mind. Anna is not vegan. It's not dairy free. There's a lot of, I mean, it's just pretty traditional cooking with all the dairy and all the gluten. So keep that in mind. This is not a gluten free or vegan or dairy free friendly book. Uh, here we have some more beautiful recipes. That bread looks so fluffy and amazing. Oh, I'm so jealous. Uh, here we have some more. Again, the photos are a little sparse, but that's okay. Ooh, ultimate celebration cake. I actually love trying, this is kind of my tester recipe, usually for baking cookbooks, is everybody tends to have their own cake recipe. So I try it, and that's usually my determinant, like that's how I determine if the cookbook's pretty good, is through the cake. And it's been pretty successful as far as I've, I could tell. So that's a tip from me to you. Uh, here is some more. These are, oh wow, crumb coats, different tips, different ways of baking, so many different recipes. There's some classics in here, but there's different, um, let me get to more photos, but there are some twists or some unique recipes I've never seen. There are also savory recipes, so this is a chicken pot pie recipe next to me. Here's different pie crusts. This is gorgeous. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. So if you're looking for an all around oh, meringue cloud cookies, look how pretty those are. If you're looking for a dessert 
cook well not dessert but a baking cookbook something that's gonna give you a lot of great foundations but a whole bunch of recipes that you can choose from different techniques using different tools and um it i mean it spans from all kinds of desserts that you can that you can think of especially american desserts so check this one out this is really great peach cobbler i can go on forever this is cheryl day's treasury of southern baking it is fantastic and i'm sure we can find gluten-free or dairy-free alternatives for this um but this is a really great cookbook all around if you're looking for other baking cookbooks check out our baking playlist as well um we have a lot of different baking uh cookbooks as the holidays start approaching i know that's going to be like important for everybody uh and also come join us on facebook instagram our amazon live channel amazon.com slash live slash cookbook divas we'd love to see you there and again if there is a cookbook that you want us to check out we will do that for you just make sure to comment down below subscribe so you know when we do upload videos or when we go live thank you so much have a great day